Hello, welcome to Chief Architect Workshop. Today, uh, I want to talk about some unknown gems in uh, Chief uh, that can be used to create uh, your plans. Uh, the typical way we create in Chief is we uh, just use Chief's incredibly nice wall system where we can um, just stretch it to the point that we want. Let's say we want to build a 20 foot by 40 foot garage. So we just kind of stretch it and we kind of, you know, have to play with it all, you know, kind of, there we go, we got to snap into the one inch lines. There's a 20 by 40 garage. And now we want to stick in some doors. So let's put in some doors, garage doors. So we take a garage door, put it here. Let's go here, let's go there. Let's edit that garage door. What's beautiful about Chief is that it'll bring up the garage door. We want to put in a 16 foot garage door into that space. So we type in 16 feet, tab. We don't care about that for these purposes. So there we have that there. And then we can copy that. And we put it there, and now we're trying to center it. And uh, so, let's see. It's kind of kind of a pain to try to figure out how to center that when you have two doors there. So let's. So how else can we do this? Let's. Uh, there's some really cool stuff about Chief that uh, helps us build this garage. Let's start all over. Let us. Build another garage right in front of this garage. But we can do it with some of Chief's really cool uh, tools. So let's use our CAD. Uh, what we could do is we could go to current CAD layer. We could make a different CAD layer. We could copy this CAD layer you know, on the default set. We could copy the CAD layer. And create a separate uh, CAD layer for. We bring up the layer display option box and CAD default. We can copy that. Let's call it, change that to CAD, CAD reference or guidelines. Let's call it reference for now. What the heck? And we'll hit OK. And we'll go to CAD, current CAD layer. And now, let's see, it might be up here. CAD reference. And let's make our reference lines a different color. Hello. Right. We have to edit those somewhere. Uh, No. You bring up the uh, layer reference set, click on CAD reference, you want to change the color to red, uh, the line style, that's fine, like that. I don't know, let's, let's change it to purple. Purple is a more fun look. Change that to purple, so now you have the current CAD layer will be in purple. And we want to draw that 20 foot by 40 foot garage. Let's use a box, CAD. This is some fun stuff there. We have our reference guidelines in purple. We make the box 20 feet high and 40 feet long. Type that in. We'll convert that to inches. And there we have our garage box. What's really cool about Chief is now it will snap. To that. So when we go build wall, exterior garage wall, there it is. We find it. Chief is snapping to it. And now we don't have to worry too much about, you know, have we inched along and hit our hit our points there. We, we know that Chief is automatically snapping to the outside face as long as we go counterclockwise. And we have our 60 by 40. And now we want to center those garage doors. Remember those garage doors? So 
couple ways we could do it. Let's put a line here. Yeah, we'll put a line there. And now that goes on our reference there. Everything's referenced now. And easily just center this. Use our centering tool. Let's go to the centering tool there. We want to center it there. And now we want a uh, garage door there. We want it centered there. Let's draw a line. Now it'll snap here. Yeah, let's draw a line and snapping hopefully to our guidelines. No, let's make sure it snaps to our guidelines. There's a better way to do this is you set up your guidelines early. Right now it's snapping to the outside face. You really want it to snap. The thing you have to watch out for in chief. Make sure you're there. And I'll show you a third way. Uh, so we've got that there. Now, now that we've correctly placed that there, just some more guidelines. And what's really cool about these is, let's draw a line here. And it'll snap to there. Let's draw one here. It'll snap to there. And actually, let's get rid of these. Because what we want to do is now, we can use our CAD line will snap to the center. So let's create another guideline. And when it turns to a little diamond, you triangle, you know you're in the center. Look for a triangle, there's a triangle. Now we have the door centered there. We can take those doors that we created before. We can get those doors, control C, control V. Okay, control V, I'm gonna put it in the wall. Right there, control V, snap there, now they're centered there. And now you've got it centered, and you just use the beauty of the guideline, uh, guidelines in chief. Uh, you can use that in separate ways. Say we wanted a line of steel. Say we wanted a line of steel, we want to locate a column here. So let's, um, let's draw a line here. We can convert this to a structural line. Take that there. We'll edit that line, line style, and we'll change it to that. And now instead of the CAD reference, we we'll, we'll want to turn it on and make it a CAD default or CAD framing. Let's make a CAD default. And for a center line, I use that line style. So now we have a line style that's red. Red signifies structure. And now we'll center that we have the column centered in the middle of the garage bay. Now we want a column centered here. And what we want to do is, let's just use our centering tool again. We'll draw a line. We'll pick the line. We'll pick centering. There's our centering tool. There's the centering tool right there. It'll center the object. And we want to center it, not that way, not that way, this way. So now it's centered in there. Let's stretch it out. And here's another great command that you should learn to use. The object command, object change command. Pick it there, and now paint that object. It'll have all the properties. It'll be structural line. And now you can put your column right there. You can use CAD. Since I typically like to use CAD and then also use our primitive to make it a column. So let's, let's Put a three and a half inch lally column in the center of the garage. Click on that. Right now it's a CAD line. You want it to show up in CAD. So we'll fill it solid. Let's make it a black so it really punches out on the structure. And we'll use a point to point move to make it accurate. We'll point to the center there. And now we'll point to the center there. We have our column there. We can also use our CAD tools. Uh, to build a column, primitive column, we'll build a cylinder. We'll also, there's our cylinder. Let me change that a little later. There's a cylinder. It's 20 by 20, but we really want the uh, radius to be, let's just say two. We get a four inch valley column. And let's say we want it to go to eight feet. So the height would be eight feet. And we can stretch that in edited various other views. Now it'll show up in 3D. 
of that column there, and we'll take that column, oh, something wacky there. Um, the radius is two, that's a four inch column, that means this is probably too big. Yeah, that's an eight inch diameter column. So let's correct that. Not mine. Let's tab, find that column. There it is. We drew that a little too big. Diameter is not seven. It should be two. And now, hello. Now the diameter should be four. The radius should be two. Oh man, let's get this straight now, dude. All right, zoom, click, center, edit, radius. Two, diameter four. There's our Lely column. There it is. This will indicate it in 2D. This will indicate it in 3D. Yeah, the column is now, if we do a little perspective, full floor overview. And the two garages. There's our column. There's our other garage. Um, we want to put the column in the right place. You can see it in 3D. Let's put it in the right place. So we'll take our three-dimensional column, move a point-to-point -point move, and we'll pick the center point, and the center point there, and now it's smack dab on top of the other guy. It should be anyway. It doesn't look like it's, I like to be super accurate. That representation is accurate. That column, let's do a point-to-point -point move. Let's pick it. No, oh, it's not letting us pick the center. All right, call that there, and we'll call it there. Now, it's accurate. We can go to our floor overview, and that column now appears where it should be. And we go to a 3D view. So there's some uh, little tricks with the trade for using guidelines to get what you want in chief. Uh, if you have any questions, please email me at chiefarchitectworkshop at gmail.com. I will answer them uh, in video format, post them on YouTube, and everyone can learn. You can also send a file, and if you're having difficulties, and I will analyze it since I've been using Chief since the beginning for, since Chief ever was uh, put out. It was uh, a buggy program, and now it's an incredibly sophisticated, super uh, architectural program. Um, again, Chicago Chief Workshop Architects. That's chief architect workshop at gmail.com.